I think this is the best stable diffusion model I have used so far. I saw the first images from this model on stable diffusion subreddit around a month ago and the developer created these images for me to compare. Because the model wasn't publicly available then, the images were looking really promising. And now this model is publicly available to use. It is called Freedom Redmond and I want to try it out and compare it with Realistic Vision version 2.0. Because as you may know, this is the model I was using for the last couple of videos. This new model uses Stable Diffusion 2.1 as the base model compared to 1.5 in the case of Realistic Vision. And it's a generalist model, so it is not specifically trained with a single category of images. You can use it to generate basically anything in very different styles, like realistic photos, abstract illustrations, oil paintings or cartoon-like sketches. It is focused on creating images in 1024 by 1024 pixel size, so keep that in mind for the best possible outcome. But I think anything between 768 to 1024 will be fine. You can download the model from Civit AI, the link is in the video description. But the super cool thing is, you can try it right now without downloading anything, even if you don't have a stable diffusion installed because the developer provided a hugging face space for the trial. If you click this link on the models page, you can access it. And it is working pretty fast, I have been using it since yesterday. Of course, it depends on the demand, but it seems fine for now. I am sure this space won't be available for a long time, so if it doesn't work when you watch this, it means the demo period is over but you can still download and use it for yourself. You can write your positive and negative prompts in this text box. It is noted in the description that it is recommended to try with and without negative prompt, so feel free to experiment with it. There is no recommended prompt structure or trigger words for this model yet, so you can see the example images generated with this model by others and can try to inspire and see what kind of prompts you can use. Some of these images are absolutely insane. Let's generate our first image. I will try to use prompts I used previously both in Stable Diffusion and also in Midjourney to be able to compare them better. First, I used this prompt from Midjourney for a private villa with terracotta textures in the desert. In the first generation, I used exactly the same prompts and then I changed it a bit to change the form of the building. I mostly used the hugging face space first to generate images with this model and meanwhile generate the same prompts with the realistic vision on my computer with local stable diffusion. And these images turn out great. I was super shocked about the results because they are almost as good as Midjourney and I even like some of them more than Midjourney. The color tones, compositions, depth of feeling and the lighting with these soft shadows in this image are really nice. If you use this space, don't forget to download the image after each generation, because if you don't, there is no way to see that image again, so don't forget that. Later, I decided to try out some of the prompts from my last video to add this model to the comparison. If you didn't see that video, I have compared 8 different AI image generators in 5 different categories with more than 800 images. You can check it from here. And here are some of the images with my favorite ones from other platforms. For this abstract mushroom forest, the results were super detailed and it generated really high quality images. Then I created this top view urban space design for a public area. Overall, the form of the pavilion it created and the surroundings were way better than I expected. The trees around the park with these lightings and the buildings with metal roofs looked real enough. If you want to use it locally, after you download the model, you should place it under the stable diffusion models file. When I first hit generate, I get this error message. If you receive the same, you can solve it by adding dash dash no health comment to the web UI user .bat file. Right click on the file, show more options and click on edit and here in this row you can add dash dash no health and then save the file. Now if you restart the UI and generate it again it will work. 
I have an RTX 3060 GPU with 6GB VRAM, which is not the best one for this job. I want to generate images 1024 to 1024 as it is suggested by the model description, but then I got this memory error. If you experience this too, you can add dash dash low VRAM command to the same command line inside webui user.bat file. This will allow you to run the diffusion process with a lower memory, but it will dramatically slow down the generation speed. The one minor issue we have is with the control net extension. For me personally, the control net is one of the most essential parts of the stable diffusion, and the main control net models are based on stable diffusion 1.5 version, so it is not possible to use the same model files directly with this new model, but it is possible to download models for the 2.1 version too and use control net with this model. Since it is not as common as 1.5 version, there is a fewer materials and developments for the 2.1 version. I will share a video about it soon. And here are all the final images together to compare. There is a significant quality difference between these two models. Let me know if you use any other model that you think is better. I would love to try it. As always, you can find all the resources and images in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching up to this moment and see you in the next one.